But now let's talk about melanoma. Unlike basal or squamous cell carcinoma, melanoma arises from melanocytes, which are pigment-producing cells in our skin. And melanoma can be actually very deceptive because sometimes it starts as a mole that's been there for years, for decades even, and then it starts to grow or change. Other times, it shows up as a brand new lesion, dark, irregular, or even pink and flesh-colored, making it harder to notice. And you may be familiar with ABCD rule to guide evaluation. Yet, what I've noticed over the years is that most patients don't really understand it well, and they need more thorough explanation. And I actually agree with them. It's not that straightforward. So let's break down ABCDE step by step. So starting with A for asymmetry. This means that one half of the mole or lesion doesn't match the other half in shape, color, or thickness. And that's different from benign, non-cancerous moles where both halves typically look the same. But in melanoma, the lesion is often irregular and asymmetrical. And imagine drawing a line through the middle and seeing two very different halves. So what is the clinical insight behind this? Asymmetry suggests uncontrolled and uneven growth, which is a hallmark of malignancy. It's one of the earliest visual cues that a lesion may be suspicious and should be biopsied. It's not definitely a cancer, but should be biopsied. Next, we have B for border irregularity. This refers to the edges of the mole or lesion. In a normal benign mole, the borders should be smooth, even, and well-defined. But in melanoma, the border is often irregular, notched, blurred, or scalloped, kind of somewhat wavy. The clinical insight here is that irregular borders indicate that the melanocytes, which again, the pigment cells in our skin, may be growing in a disorganized or invasive pattern, which is, again, characteristics of malignant behavior. If the edge of a mold looks uneven, or fades into surrounding skin, it is somewhat of a red flag that warrants closer examination, monitoring, or biopsy. Then, next one, we have C for color variation. This means that the mole or lesion contains multiple colors or uneven pigmentation. A benign mole, non-cancerous mole, it usually has one uniform color, typically light to dark brown, but a suspicious lesion, especially melanoma, may show different shades of brown or black, or areas of red, white, pink, gray, even blue, or just uneven distribution of color across the whole mold. The clinical interpretation here is this. Color variation suggests that the melanocytes are behaving abnormally and producing pigment in an uncontrolled and chaotic way. And this heterogeneity is a common sign of a malignant transformation. And especially when color appear in patches or swirls, um, those are irregular swirls within the same lesion. And we can see it well under the dermoscope, which is a little device that we use for mole checks. Then we have D that stands for diameter, larger than six millimeter. This refers to the size of the mole or a lesion. While benign moles are usually small, a warning sign for melanoma is a diameter larger than 6 millimeters, about the size of a pencil eraser. But here's something important. Melanomas can be smaller than 6 millimeters, especially in early stages. In fact, the smallest melanoma that I diagnosed at my clinic was 1 millimeter, which was literally a dot. So size alone isn't diagnostic, but when combined with asymmetry, irregularity, borders, or color variation, a larger diameter raises concern. The clinical insight here is straightforward, of course. Larger lesions are more likely to have undergone genetic changes that drive, again, uncontrolled growth. Measuring diameter is a simple screening tool and could be incredibly helpful in monitoring moles. Finally, we have E for evolution, meaning any change, and I repeat, any change over time. This includes changes in an existing mole, whether it's in size, shape, color, elevation, how raised the mole is, or the development of symptoms like itching, bleeding, or crusting. 
even if a mole looks mostly normal, any noticeable change is a warning sign. Also, evolution implies occurrence of a new mole. So in general, a new mole in an adult is a red flag. And I'm talking about a mole, not a cosmetic brown spots or some cosmetic lesions like skin tags or seborrheic keratosis. It's, it's hard, of course, for the patient to discern what is what on their own. So I understand concern and often confusion. Often patients come to me with something like this, a raised unsightly seborrheic keratosis. Well, I focus on something that I see nearby, a flat atypical mole that may have turned into melanoma. So the clinical insight behind e-evolution is this. Melanoma is a dynamic process and one of the most telling clues that something is not right, that something is wrong, is when a mole starts to change. So evolution reflects ongoing genetic instability in the cells, which is often the earliest signal of malignant transformation, so change into a cancerous cell. But I'll be honest, not all melanomas follow these rules. Some melanomas could be amelanocytic, so, or amelanotic, as we say. That means that these melanomas have no pigment, they have no color at all, and that makes them even harder to detect for both the patient, of course, and often for the provider. All of this means that we need to diagnose melanomas early. Why is early detection of melanoma so important? Well, what makes melanoma dangerous is its ability to spread early and silently. It can travel through the lymphatic system or bloodstream, reaching organs like the lungs, liver, or brain. So early detection may mean life and death difference. So we can't underestimate that. At the time of diagnosis, the most critical factor in determining melanoma prognosis is the breast slow depth, which is a measure of how thick the melanoma is or how deeply the tumor has penetrated the skin. In general, the thicker the melanoma, the higher the risk of metastases and mortality. Early detection means catching melanoma before it got deeper, before it grew deeper. 